Hi, my name is Sean Pike with Rights to Water Engineering. I'm standing in a diversion with the head gate just shut off. It's still draining out, so there's a little bit of water. Normally there'd be two or three cubic feet per second going through this diversion and on down to irrigate the orchard. This diversion box was built in 1922 by Emil Wigno, uh, the grandfather of my wife, and he built it very well so that it's lasted all this time. He put boards in to send the water through pipes into the orchard for flood irrigating. But what we're going to do today is put boards in to show how to operate it as a weir going down the ditch and as an orifice going down the ditch. Two of the three most common types of agricultural diversion measurement. So first thing I'm going to do is start putting in the boards. These are cut to be half inch or one inch short of the full length so they don't get stuck when they swell because of the water. So put these boards in. These are two by sixes, bought them at Home Depot. Cut them to any length you need. You can also use two by eights, two by twelves, whatever is most convenient. And I wanna stack this up so that we get a still pool of water when this is full. We shouldn't see any water moving in the back for the proper operation of a weir. So now three boards, almost a foot and a half. And now I'm gonna put in a weir board. This one's a little odd because I have two weirs cut into it. First I have the one foot weir for a little bit larger flow and the six inch weir or half foot weir for a smaller flow. And I did this, you'll see why later, it's just easier for demonstration. But I have a couple of blocks that were cut out of here. So if I put in the one foot block, I'm left with a six inch weir. Not very much flow can go through there. In fact, only about half a cubic foot per second if the water is 0.45 feet higher than the board upstream. Or I can put in this block and then measure through the one foot weir. So this would be good for up to one cubic foot per second. If I had nothing all the way across, this is 40 inches, a little odd length between the inside of the concrete. So could measure about three and two thirds cubic feet per second through here. All right. Now, without changing the lower boards, in just a few minutes, we're gonna turn this into an orifice instead of a weir. Same boards just a little different configuration. So I'm putting in my weir board upside down. And then I'll take another board and put that on top so I can get enough head upstream. So now I have two orifice holes. They're two inch, excuse me, they're three and a half inch high holes. So if I put this block in, I'm left with an orifice three and a half inch by six inches or half a foot. So that's a little less than one third of a square foot, which you can go to the table or use the equation and calculate the orifice flow. And in the same way, I can replace the smaller hole with the board and have a larger orifice hole. So it's easy to see you can have any size of orifice that's convenient. In this case, I have enough wood on top to develop some head so I can get considerable flow through that orifice. If the orifice is down low, where it's submerged downstream, then it's a submerged orifice. If it's up higher, where it can be free flowing, then it's a free flowing orifice. A little more water gets through there and it's a different equation. And that's pretty much it. Uh, later on, we'll show how to operate this all with the flow actually going in the ditch. Thank you.